This week on the Tekken Auto Show, we take a look at the Tekken Auto Awards 2018. I think uh, it's a great platform to have both of them merge together. We are very excited because there are 16 categories and we are awarding the best of the best. Best of the best. This award is India's only technology and automotive awards. Well managed, well done and whoever got the award, they truly deserve it. We cover tech and auto both, right, at one place, so there's a lot to talk about. Yes, it is time to select the best, place our bets and tighten our seat belts as the biggest culmination of technology and automobiles takes place. And the winners are awarded with one of India's biggest awards. Uh, well, today we are very excited to receive this award, uh, the hatchback of the year from uh, News 18. Thank you News 18 for this award. Amazing award. Thanks Rob. Very, very warm welcome to all of you on behalf of News 18 to the Tech and Auto Awards 2018. This is India's biggest celebration of technology and automobiles at one place. And tonight we are celebrating the best of the best. Our journey began a few years ago online, and before we knew it, the tech and auto show was on air with lakhs of viewers joining us every day. Our team made a promise to deliver nothing but the best, and we have stood by our commitment to our viewers and readers. We dared to do something different, and it could not have been possible without the support from our audience and from those who are present here tonight. Now, in the last one year, there have been groundbreaking innovations in the world of technology and automobiles. It's now time to honor those who made a mark and stood out from the rest. The cars, motorcycles, smartphones, laptops, and gadgets that were launched this year have made our lives very exciting, but it has posed a huge challenge for our jury. Our winners this evening have been picked after much debate and discussion amongst our jury members, but the deciding vote, ladies and gentlemen, has come from over two lakh viewers who logged in to support their favorites. Yes, so now it is time to place our bets and tighter our seat belts as we start off with the Tekken Auto Awards. I'm going to talk about digital taking the driver's seat. When you look at this S curve, industry after industry goes through this. So, at the introduction of a new technology, in the automotive industry, it is those top four autonomous connected, shared mobility, and electrification. Each one of these trends is a huge disruption in itself. But what we are seeing today is the convergence of these trends. The connected and connectivity is becoming an enabler for autonomous or advanced driver assist systems, and it is also becoming a critical enabler of shared mobility. So with the convergence, there is a tsunami of disruption in the automotive industry, and today, we do not even want to call our industry automotive any longer. We call our industry mobility industry. And when you look at the tech industry, the new tech mobility companies are getting five times the investment from venture capitalists than just pure tech companies. It is not just about an R&D team going into a small conference room or a war room, coming up with the data to address the macro trends, but it is democratization of innovation. Putting your employees together with your suppliers, together with your customers, and bringing this dynamic network to democratize innovation is what will help us to address those four macro trends that I've talked about. The four macro trends that are impacting the automotive industry are not just impacting the product, but it's changing business models and shifting revenue pools. So you need to think about what kind of culture would I have and change the practices and now combine it with the technology, with data, with digitalization, with artificial intelligence and having more computing at the edge and then create new digital capabilities so that you can tap into those revenue pools of the future. And that's how digital is taking the driver's seat in the automotive industry. Oh, did I say automotive? In the mobility industry. And thank you so much. 
Thank you very much for that, Mamta. Our chief guest for the evening, Sri Nitin Gadkari, Honorable Minister of Road Transport and Highways, is here. Good evening, sir. Can I please request you to come on stage? This is our first award of the night is the big one, and we want you to give it away. It's a category that sees the most number of sales in the country, and there's no automaker who doesn't want a slice of this pie. We are talking about the hatchback of the year. Here are the nominations. Maruti Suzuki Swift Hyundai Sandro Tata Tiago JTP Datsun Go Ford Freestyle The winner is Hyundai Sandro Next category is a unique one and that is the technology that changed our lives for the better. Here are our nominations. Umang Kisan Suvidha Q Copy Study in India Raksha The winner is Q Copy Can we request you to come and say a few words? Automobile industry is very important for the country because this is the industry which is going to create a lot of employment potential in the country. At the same time, our export for automobile spare parts and the car is every time is going to increase. As far as transport ministry is concerned, we are very much committed for the policy that is import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous we are giving priority for development of biofuels electric ethanol methanol biodiesel bio cng and we have a lot of successful experiments but at the same time because of diesel petrol we are facing the pollution problem it is the time for the automobile industry to go for electric Ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio CNG, and I, I am with confident. I am telling you, this is possible, and I am confident that within five years, India will become the first automobile manufacture hub in the world, because our labor cost is less. IT already we have a lot of potential with IT engineers. All brand in the world are all present in India. And the manufacturing in India is very easy because the production cost is less as compared with the other part of the world. So there is a huge potential for export and government is constantly supporting this industry. People, they want new alternative, new innovations, new solutions. And it is the time for you to you have to change your approach for new technology, new innovations, new alternative fuels. This is going to pay you more. And government is constantly concentrating on it. Once upon a time, when I start this subject, the automobile industry was 100% not ready to accept all these new changes. But today, in a year, now everyone is on now, we have been on the electric car, electric buses. When I taken a decision for making a Euro 6, now it's mandatory from 1st April 2020, there is a lot of hesitation in the mind of the people, particularly the Indian manufacturer, not happy with it. But now, many companies are ready with the same fuel which we are using with the Euro 6 emission norms. But regarding this industry, our basic interest is to create more employment potential. And by using new technology, new innovation and new research, our country will be number one in the world. I am confident about it. And I feel that it's a good future for this industry. This is one of the industry having every time increasing their turnover. I'm really giving my thanks to the winner for their excellent jobs. Thank you very much. Namaskar. I will now request Sri Manoj Sana to take the podium as he will be speaking on Internet of People, Unleashing the Power of Connected India. Please welcome him with a huge round of applause. I am very happy to be here with you इस समारोह में मुझे उपस्थित होने का अवसर दिया है 3G और 4G की बस हम मिस कर गए थे लेकिन 5G की बस मुझे लगता है मिस नहीं करने वाले हैं और एक हाई लेवल फोरम सरकार ने प्रोफेसर 
पॉल राज जो स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी के इमेरिटस प्रोफेसर हैं उनकी अध्यक्षता में बनाया है सेक्रेटरी टेलीकॉम सेक्रेटरी माई और सेक्रेटरी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सभी जो हमारे प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं उनको भी उसके साथ जोड़ा है और इंडस्ट्रीज के अलावा जो स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं उनके साथ भी और काम हमने काफ़ी हद तक किया है लेकिन इस देश में हम किस स्टैंडर्ड पर जाएंगे इसका एक ब्लूप्रिंट हम सब ने बना करके इस कमेटी ने रखा है तेरह ग्रुप हमारे काम कर रहे हैं और मुझे लगता है कि आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के क्षेत्र में आई के क्षेत्र में हमने काफ़ी प्रगति की है इंटरनेट ऑफ पीपुल अभी एक नई टेक्नोलॉजी है जिस पर काम इस देश में नहीं हुआ है मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि आने वाले दिनों में इस पर भी हम एक सामयिक निर्णय लेने ले करके इस काम को भी आगे बढ़ाएंगे मैं पुनः एक बार आपको धन्यवाद देता हूं नमस्कार मनोज जी विल बी गिविंग द अवार्ड्स इन टू कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट अ कैटेगरी दैट मोस्ट ऑफ आस कैनॉट अफोर्ड द लग्जरी कार ऑफ द ईयर येस दे डू कम विदी प्राइस टैग बट कार लवर्स विल से दैट इट्स वर्थ every single penny so here are our nominations volvo xc60 bmw 6 series gt mercedes benz s class porsche cayenne audi q5 the winner is volvo xc60 Thank you very much sir I would request you to please stay on stage for one more category yes, which is gadget of the year This category salutes innovation across all popular product genres from wearables to cameras to televisions and audio products Let's take a look at the nominations Apple Watch Series 4 Nikon Z7 mirrorless camera Bose Quiet Comfort 35 headphones Sony Bravia A9F OLED TV Xiaomi Mi TV 4A Pro 49 The winner is Sony Bravia A9F for sedan of the year and here are the nominations Maruti Suzuki Sias Toyota Yaris Ford Aspire Tata Tigor Honda Amaze and the winner is Honda Amaze Moving on to the next award which is budget smartphone of the year under rupees 15000 and here are the nominations Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro Nokia 6.1 Plus Realme 2 Pro Honor 8X Moto G6 and the winner is Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro Now to talk about our next category, which is the commuter two-wheeler of the year, and this was one tough fight. Absolutely, and rightly so, because the scooters and motorcycles competing in this category truly add a new dimension to the term commuter. The nominations are Suzuki Bergman Street 125, Yamaha YZF R15 Version 3, BMW G310R, TVS and Torque. Honda Grazia 125 and the winner is uh, TVS and TORC and and talk here yeah. our next award is computing device of the year you have the conventional laptops the slim and light laptops convertibles that can be detached from the keyboard base to use as a tablet gaming laptops 
and hybrid computing devices. That's way too much. Yeah, and, but yeah, that's the thing. While they may look and behave differently, the mission is the same, to be the best computing device possible. And here are the nominations. Apple MacBook Pro 15, Microsoft Surface Book 2, HP Spectre X360 13, Dell XPS New 13, MSI GF63 8RD. The winner is HP Spectre X360. Now moving on to a category that is a big deciding factor when it comes to buying gadgets. And to give away the design of the year for technology, may I please invite our jury members, Tutu Dhawan and Prashanta Kumar Roy on stage. The nominations for design of the year for technology are Apple Watch Series 4, Microsoft Surface Laptop, Apple iPhone 10R Product Red, Oppo Find X, Dyson V10 Cyclone Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, and the winner is uh, the Dyson V10 Cyclone, Cyclone Vacuum Cleaner. These machines can zoom from 0 to 100 in seconds. These gadgets let you experience the world on your couch. At the core of both is cutting-edge technology. And this is our passion. For the first time in India, experience the finest blend of technology and automobiles in the Tech and Auto Show. Watch it at these times on CNN News 18. Time now for one of the biggest awards of the night, Motorcycle of the Year. This category takes everything that a motorcycle has to offer into consideration. Design, innovation, oomph, essentially the full package. The nominations for Motorcycle of the Year is as follows. Ducati Panigale V4S Suzuki GSX S750 Indian Scout Bobber Kawasaki Z900 Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster And the winner is Ducati Panigale V4S Now to a category that touches us every minute of our existence. Before we buy a phone, we want to know how good the camera on it is. That's the strange new world we live in. Absolutely. Social media is on the rise and we are constantly clicking everything under the sun. Quite literally. What we're talking about is the best camera phone of the year. The nominations for best camera phone of the year are as follows. Apple iPhone XS Max Google Pixel 3 XL Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus Huawei P20 Pro OnePlus 6T This is the Huawei P20 Pro. Congratulations. So our next category is the design of the year for automobiles. And the nominations are as follows. Audi RS5 TVS RR310 Volvo XC40 Range Rover Velar Ducati Panigale V4 Winner is Audi RS5 
now to a category that was super popular in 2018, the SUV and MPV segment. These cars offer immense practicality and capability and can take on severe and several driving conditions without breaking a sweat. And let's not forget the sheer road presence that these cars have on road and how good looking all of these are. The nominations for SUV MPV of the year are as follows. Maruti Suzuki Brezza Hyundai Creta Ford EcoSport Mahindra Marazzo Honda CRV. So the winner is Maruti Suzuki Brazza. Congratulations, Team Maruti Suzuki. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, to a category that everyone has been waiting for, which is the smartphone of the year. The contenders not only redefined the word flagship, but also pushed innovation and creativity to a whole new level. The only criteria while deciding the winner of this award was to be the best overall and nothing else. No limitations, no filters, nothing but the best. Let's quickly take a look at the nominations. Apple iPhone XS Max, OnePlus 6T, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, Google Pixel 3XL, Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, uh, the best award of the night goes to the iPhone XS Max. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we have come to the end of this edition of the Tech and Auto Awards. We thank you for joining us tonight and look forward to catching you once again next year. of the hatchback of the year, which was the Hyundai Centro. What is the experience? What is uh, well, today we are very excited to receive this award, uh, the hatchback of the year from uh, News 18. Uh, Centro has always been one of the winners as far as its segment was concerned. Uh, way back in 1998 when we launched the first generation Centro, it became the most loved car of this country. And today in 2018, after 20 years, when we have relaunched the Centro, it is, I would say, the birth of the legend the return of the legend which has come back and I'm sure in short span of time this centre will again become the love and excitement of the people of this country. So we thank the jury, uh, the team 18 and also everybody and our customers for giving Centro this love and affection and making it yet another the winner in its category. Oh it feels awesome. Thank you News 18 for this award. This award goes down to all the design, R&D, product development and marketing teams back at TVS Sosur. Thank you very much. So what do you think is the one factor in your bikes which sort of trumped and you know pushed you towards the victory? I feel two. One is the design and the second is the connected cluster. That has won many hearts on the way. Amazing award. Thanks Roth. Uh, what feature of this car do you think made like made it to the awards. With which feature was it which sort of stands yeah. out? Yeah, I mean it's the uh, one class above uh, with the meter sedan. Yes. Th this is really appreciated by the customers. In 2017, I left for my world ride and I've been in seven continents and 64 countries and I got back to India three months back. Being one of the very few women bike owners and bike who actively ride bikes in India, what is it like? Everybody thinks being a woman on a bike, especially in India, is uh, we draw so much of attention, which is uh, true. But I personally didn't face any negative attention. Okay. Every, every time I've been on a road, solo or with a group or with everyone, everything was I mean absolutely fine. The only thing which is little more dangerous with the guy is as soon as they know he's a girl riding car or any other bike, try to get closer, click picture, do something, which is actually very dangerous when we are on a bike and they're trying to get close to us. Or sometimes in the city when they see a woman riding, they want her to just come next to us and start racing because they think he's a woman on a bike. You say that the percent of women actually riding are very low when you compare it to men. Do you think there are any technological advancements that bikes can make which will make them more women friendly? 
You know, the, the uh, most important thing is the bike needs to be lower compared to the guys because as soon as you can touch the ground with your feet, you feel more comfortable. That's the reason if you keep it much simpler, it will be much easier for them. And that's the thing that you see that most of the women gonna go for the simpler bike, smaller in the size and lower height.